you know. And that's, that's just an amazingly powerful thing for him to believe in. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I mean, I think you put, you put Pat Rafter as a, as a red-hot favourite, but, you know, with that sort of belief, I'm, not, I'm scared to write him off, you know. I, wow, I mean, well, I didn't even think he was going to be in the tournament. I saw him lose at Queens to Cristiano Karate, and he was horrible, absolutely horrible. And I said, oh, this is sad, you know. It's really sad to see such a great player play like this at the end of his career. And now look at it. How do you mean, explain it? Well, I think I believe he, he's, you know, he just went in there. He's got nothing to lose. He's rolled in, and all of a sudden his game started to click. And he's just, as I said, he's got this belief. He mm. believes God's on his side. He believes all. Of, he's praying, you know, and he's clearly a religious guy. And and you know, that's a different type of belief. It's a self-confidence. You have self-confidence for winning matches, and that's going to help. And then everything else, he believes that this, this fate's on his side. I don't know. Maybe he's going to have stigmatas coming on his hands soon or something. But he, <laughs> and he's got an amazing belief in himself and and believe in destiny, as he said. And John, a word about uh, Tim, because he didn't really do a lot wrong out there today. Not really, no. I mean, it, you know, what can you do in that sort of situation? A couple of second serves he hit where you could see he was uh, nervous of them and, and sort of kicked them in with, with not much pace and they sat up and, and Goran gave them, a, you know, gave them a good whacking away. But, I mean, how can you... Uh, what a situation for him. I, I really believe, of course, we'll never know, but... That rain, the, the, mm. the rain the first time when he was up two sets to one, I believe he would have closed out the match there and would have been in the, in the finals. It didn't happen, and I mean, obviously right now he's absolutely shattered. But the thing is, I don't agree at all with people that have said, if he doesn't do it this year, that's the end of it. I think that's a load of nonsense. He's got to somehow regroup and accept that, you know, he was unlucky. I mean, he almost did it. He came as close as he could this year. But next year, he'll have an even better chance. That's the only way to look at a match like this. It's going to take him a few days to get over it, though, I'll tell you that. But how do you recover from something like that? Because he did have a huge opportunity. And I think you're right. I think he definitely would have won if the rain hadn't uh, come down on that opening day. Well, that's a, a lot is going to have to do with what, comes, what he feels within and also the people around him. And he has got to believe that his day will come, much as Goran Ivanisevic has had three finals. He's back now in the fourth. Uh, there's a lot of good grass court players that are, are getting a little bit older these days, you know, with Sampras and Agassi. He's, and, and Tim is still young. He's got three or four very good years left to have a go at this tournament. And I hope that, uh, it, you know, he'll be down about it, and he should be. But I, I think he can come back strong, and I still think he can win Wimbledon. Because we're being very positive about it, but we all know what the, some of the headlines are going to be, and we know how much that can affect him as well. Well, but you know what? If the headlines are bad tomorrow, I mean... Yeah, this was an, uh, almost an impossible situation at three all going back in the mm. fifth after three days. I mean, you could have flipped a coin today. You know, they'll say, well, I don't know if anybody will say he choked this and that. He didn't choke. That's absolute nonsense. I, I, I believe it was just a combination of a few things. And, you know, unfortunately, our lovely weather uh, hurt our own player. Mm. Yes, because, Pat, we were talking about how difficult it was going to be for Tim and, and the atmosphere. They never really got a chance to help him today. Well, you know, I think they were, they were pretty pumped. I mean, they were, the crowd was certainly trying to help him, but, you know... Needed to go on a bit longer, though, didn't uh, it? Yeah, I mean, he's just had... It's just bad, it's bad luck. You know, he, has, he said, I think he would have won that match if it, if it continued on. Uh, you know, it was 50-50 last night if it continued, and then today it was a toss of a coin. You know, mm. it really was. It's, in, it's impossible. You know, you know, I've tried various ways of warming up, and some, some days, you know, I hardly ever warm up. I come out and I play fantastically well straight off the bat. Other, day, other times I warm up all the time, and... You know, you know, I play badly. So you just don't know what to do. You know, it's just one of those things. You just, it, because it's just so, so much on a, a knife edge and you just don't know which way a bit of luck or whatever is going to fall. You know, you, you just, you haven't got to help. And I think that that is the thing that Tim's got to believe. He says, well, look, what can I do? I couldn't have done anything about it. I played as well as I did. I didn't choke. I gave it a shot. I was a bit unlucky, but, you know, either way, I would have been lucky if I'd won, unlucky if I lost. It's just one of those matches, you know. And it's terrible because... It's here at Wimbledon, and it's, and it's Tim Hanman, you know. If it was somebody else, he would have gone home to his country and they said, oh, bad luck, you know, what are you going to do about the weather, you know. But here it's like, oh, my God, the weight of the world is on your yeah. shoulders. Yeah, yeah, you've lived here long enough to realise that, Pat. But, but also, uh, you know, with Tim Hanman, I mean, what does he do now? We, when we were talking at Queen's, you were talking about a couple of little things that you think he could work, work on that maybe let him down in a tight situation, but that didn't seem to be the, the situation here at Wimbledon. Well, um... Look, you can always improve. I think that's the bottom line. Every player needs to sit down and say, how can I improve? Uh, where, you know, what areas can I improve and who can help me do that if I, if I can't do it? And, 
you know, that's something that he, he needs to do. Um, you know, I still think that he can, you know, he's got a lot of power in his serve. I still think he just throws in a few double faults and, the, mm -hmm. you know, it's such a fine line. You know, he hasn't got much wrong with his game. But, you know, there may be a few areas where he, he, he can improve a little bit. But he's mentally sort of, stronger as well. You know, I, think, I think Tim's mentally very strong. You know, I don't, I don't think he's, you know, to do, you know, handle this sort of pressure and come out and play good tennis. I mean, I've, I've seen guys playing Davis Cup matches and cramping before they even get out and play on the court, you know, and that's the stress that people play, people go through, and, and it's, it's, it's horrible, you know, to do this, and believe me, you know, I've been a Wimbledon final, and I didn't, I came off the court and I said, I'm not sure if I want to ever go through that experience again, <laughs> this is incredibly stressful, you know, and Tim's been able to handle that, he's been able to ha handle Davis Cup, and, you know, you know, so what if he, if, if he ma makes a few mistakes and whatever here, it's a very fine line between going for it and not going for it. Now, Goran went for it, and he served the double faults, and almost let Tim back in the match. Tim didn't go for it, and the balls just sat up, and Goran hit them away. Right. Now, the time he did go for it, he served a double fault. You know, so it's, you know, and you don't really have a time to feel, to feel your way into the match when there's only a couple of games mm. to go, you know, so it, it's very, very difficult, you know, mm. and, and I, I'd certainly feel for Tim, because he's a terrific, terrific guy, and it's, and it's you know, he's going to feel uh, horrible about it, but at the end of the day, he played, he played well, he was unlucky, and he didn't choke, and he gave it his best shot. I mean, what more can you ask? Exactly. Guys, thank you very much. Uh, well, of course, tremendous support on Centre Court, but also out on the hill where five or 6,000 people, they've been queuing uh, the day to be there to see Tim Hemman. Well, a few of them have left, but most of them are staying there because the ladies' final coming up uh, in about 20 minutes' time. But Chris Bailey is out there with them. Are they very disappointed, Chris? Yes, uh, very disappointed, too, here on the hill. Uh, Hemman Hill was, was hushed. Uh, when Goran uh, struck that last uh, serve. Uh, Caroline's here next to me. Caroline, uh, to use your words, you're gutted. Gutted and very, very disappointed, yeah. What would, it, <laughs> what would it have meant to you if Tim would have won here today? It would have been brilliant. It would have been brilliant for the country and just for everyone who loves tennis. And yeah. Marie, uh, next door to me, Marie, you've come a long way? Or? Well, from Northampton, yeah. so not too far, but very disappointing. Did you think he was going to win when you arrived on the day? Yes, yeah, hopefully. I think he couldn't carry on Friday because I reckon he'd have done it Friday, but never mind. Next year. Next year. He's going to come back, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. And you'll, you'll be coming back? Yes, definitely. Yes, my definitely. Mine and my sister's first time, but we'll be back. Yeah. OK, thank you very much. It's a, a sense of defiance almost here from Hemman Hill. We're going to be back here next year, and let's hope that Hemman goes one stage or two stages further and lifts that trophy. Back to you, Sue. And watch out for the large champagne bottle that was about to hit Chris Bailey there. Martina Navratilova has joined me uh, in, in the studio. Of course, we'll, we'll look forward to the ladies' final shortly, but how disappointing. I mean, you could just tell from the fans on the hill exactly what that would have meant for the whole of Britain. Tremendous Again, pressure. <laughs> I, this must have been the most pressure-packed match ever mm. at Wimbledon for any one person to be under, because to have this kind of match strewn over three days and basically you start today at 3 all. Mm. Yes. It's, it's, it's a match to three. Whoever gets to three first or by two. I mean, it, it's you know, a long tie break. And I, I, they played a great quality match under the circumstances, mm. I think, both of them. Yeah, because, I mean, we talk about it three days. I just can't imagine, because you can never switch off. You're no. always thinking about the match. No, it's like, you know, you're jumping off this cliff and you're hanging. <laughs> and then you can't <laughs> never land because you're, you're just you're stuck. Yeah. And, and you think you're coming to the end, and again, we all think that uh, Tim would have won the match that they finished on Friday. Yesterday, it was still had an okay chance, you know, you play a set and a half, but today it was just a pff, flip of the coin, like the guy said. Um, amazing. But I do think that Tim can learn from this again. I mean, he showed amazing mental strength, I think. I really didn't think that he had it in him to win this thing. Mm -hmm. uh, now I do. Strangely enough, after the way he carried himself throughout this tournament, um, I think he can really look on the positive and, uh, you know, Sampras is, is at the end of his, his road and Agassi is closer to it and I think uh, he can win it all on his own and he does have three, four, five great years if he takes care of himself. I think the one area that I would concentrate if I were him would be quickness. I think he can be a little more explosive. Mm -hmm. You know, we talk about the serve and the big weapon. Look what weapon quickness is for Leighton Hewitt mm -hmm. and uh, I think that's where, you know, I would try to go to he's working more. on it a lot he's working on it a lot at the moment but but what advice would you do give to him now because he's got to try and pick himself up and that isn't easy it's going it's, to be hard for, for it's, weeks I think. it's brutal this is going to hurt for a long time you know he's not going to sleep for a long time for you know w days or weeks maybe 
but you just have to say, okay, 365 days to go. You know, that's what Billie Jean told me when I lost to Steffi Graf in 89, and, and it worked, and you just have to say, okay, that's the goal. I mean, that has always been his goal in mm -hmm. his career. So you concentrate on that and, and try to figure out where do you improve um, little by little. Every little bit makes a difference. Mm -hmm. As you can see, it's such a you know, game of such inches at the end mm -hmm. uh, of the day. So you just look, 365 days to go, what can I do, and just you know, stay positive. You mm. have to stay positive. Otherwise, you, you would never come back again. Yeah, well, bad luck to Tim, but Goran was extremely brave. But let's uh, move on to the ladies' final. We'll look ahead to that because uh, it's almost, in some ways, been overshadowed, and it shouldn't yeah. be because it's a great match in, in its own right. Hopefully the women will, uh, will carry the crowd. I mean, uh, it's going to be a flat crowd for a while, but mm -hmm. I think uh, hopefully if it's a great match, that will bring the crowd into it and, and it will be an occasion all on its own as well it should be. But it has been you know, so much emotional stake for, for all of Britain here and now it's sort of deflated. Uh, they probably would have been better off had he won, had 10 men won, then they would have been more excited so now. Mm. But I think the women can, uh, can take over. and. Uh,